Hallelujah to Jesus. We give God a praise. Let God be magnified forever in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. This is God's own channel with Evangelist Sarah. You're welcome. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless every member of this household. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you. Please find me like this video. Share, subscribe. Tell somebody about this ministry. God bless you. As you do that, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Glory Abba Father. Hallelujah. You know, they went too far. I don't know. They went too far. You know, there are some persons you should, that they should, they should not have attacked. And this set of people, they are widows. They are the fatherless. They are those that have no one. God, when, when these people, when this set of people are being attacked, you know, and they cry to the Lord. God is very, very attentive to the cry of widows, widowers, the less privileged, those who cannot defend themselves. God is very, very attentive to their cry. They are crying now so, so hard because attacking you have caused them a lot of pain. Do you know what the Bible says? In Exodus chapter 22, verse 22, I'm going to read this. For you to understand that anyone that come for the widows or the fatherless, that come for the helpless, <laughs> the widow and the fatherless, that person is digging their own grave. I'm telling you, a widow, a weeping woman, a weeping person. Ha! The Bible recorded in Exodus 22, 22, it said, do not take advantage of the widow. All the fatherless. So this is a clear warning from God that they should not take advantage of people like this. When you hear me talk about widows in our ministry, we need to help them, this and that. Because I understand how God how God is how God guide them jealously. The fatherless. He said, Do not take advantage of the widow. All the fatherless. If you do, can you hear the word? He said, if you do, he said, they cry out to me. I will certainly hear their cry. So which is certainly, there is not maybe God will hear them or God will not hear them. He said, if they cry out to him, he will certainly hear them. He said, and my anger will be arose. Exodus twenty two twenty two. 22, you can read it. When you read it to 24, you will see what I'm talking about. He said, and I will kill you with the sword. Your wives will become widows and your children fatherless. You see, it is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of God. The Bible have told us this. A very fearful thing. A very fearful thing. They are crying now because they attack somebody that they were not supposed to attack. You know, some people are like, they can do anything they like, they can attack anybody, they can do whatever. You see, when they are bragging with evil, they are bragging with their wickedness, they are bragging with their wishes. Yes, we can kill, we can do this, we can do this, until they will get to that place and touch who they are not supposed to touch. And that person cry out to the Lord, and that and they will not begin to reap pain and they begin to cry now it hurts them so much coming for somebody who does not you know even the bible recorded about that widow that was coming to the king every time every time every time despite the king the 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 the, the bible called him a wicked king but yet he had to vindicate the widow. He had to vindicate and say, this woman always is taught, let me just vindicate. Because the cry of these people, he reached out to God. It is only a heartless human. Because they, they, the people that do evil, they are heartless. They, they have no heart. You need to understand. So when we talk about heartless people, these people, they don't have hearts. Because it is only someone who does not have hearts. 
that will be happy when they see that somebody else's child is dead. Somebody marriage have crashed. Somebody business have fold up. Somebody have lost his or her document. Somebody have lost his or her home. It is only a heartless human being that will be happy and say, hey, yes, good for him, good for her. It is only somebody that is heartless. So those that carry evil, they don't have a heart. Their heart is far gone. Far, far gone. Have you not seen people celebrating when they see other people suffering? They celebrate. When they watch other people go through disaster, lost of things, lost of home, lost of money, lost of job, even lost of their pets, lost of, you know, the things that they treasure. The things that they treasure. You see that there are some who are very happy. And as I speak now, there are people who are waiting to see if that man, that woman will fall. So that they will not say, and hey, did we not say, they want to prove a point with the falling of somebody else. The Lord will disappoint them. They fold a hand. They are somewhere watching a marriage, a peaceful marriage. They are watching it, waiting to hear that the marriage have crashed. So that they can say, did we not say that these church, church people, these church, 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 church people, they don't know what, they, they are waiting to prove a point. But the Lord shall disappoint them. They went and touched the wrong one. The Bible says in Exodus 22, 22, when we read, it said they should not do the widow wrong. We should not do the fatherless wrong. You should not take advantage of those who cannot speak for themselves. Because if these people cry out to God, He will hear. He will certainly hear their cry. He will certainly hear their cry. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He said His anger will arose. His anger will arose. That same God that is a kind and a loving God is a consuming fire. I keep saying this. And the Bible says it is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of God. Because when one falls into the hands of God, no one can deliver that person out from the hands of God. When one falls into the hands of the devil, God can deliver the person out. Because he is the super God. He is the supreme God. He is the Almighty. He can deliver the person from hell. He can deliver the person from the hands of But when someone now falls in the hands of the Lord, who will deliver that person? <clears throat> Hallelujah. <clears throat> it hurts them so deep now. Yeah, they are crying. They are crying. You know the Bible said that a calamity will break forth from the north and all of that. When this calamity start happening to people who do evil, when they start reaping their wickedness, the reward of their wickedness, they begin to cry so hard. It begins to hurt. That is somebody having a taste of his own medicine. Swallowing the taste of their own medicine. Child of God, the Lord hear your cry. Yeah. He said he will certainly hear. He will certainly hear. He will certainly hear. The wrath of the Lord will, shall was hot against your enemy. They are hot. Pray the Lord will help us in the name of Jesus. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you with the love of Christ. I remain your sister, Evangelist Sarah. By the grace of God, I will see you again. Bye-bye.